What's up guys, it's Davey here from phonebook.com and in this video, I wanna to talk to you about what a widget is on Android, how they're different from being shortcuts and also how they're beneficial to having on your home screen. So first thing is, what is a widget? A widget is a program or an application that actually runs on your home screen without actually having to be opened up or attached to an application. So for example, I have this weather widget right here, which it tells me the weather um, outside of my or in my city also gives me the time which is pretty cool But it doesn't it's not necessarily uh, attached to any application other than being the widget itself Of course if I tap on it I can get more functions such as my five-day forecast But then there are some widgets that are actually attached to applications So for example the score center or ESPN score center widget will tell me the scores of the game as they're happening But if I wanted more information I can just tap on it and it'll actually open up the ESPN score center app so in that case, it is tied to an application. But this power controls widget, for example, um, lets me control my wireless toggles without having to actually go to the settings. So for example, if I wanted to turn Bluetooth on and turn GPS off, I could do so without actually having to go all the way to settings, scrolling all the way to the wireless controls and you know turning them on and off from here. So definitely a lot more convenient uh, having a widget on your home screen instead of having to uh, go through the settings. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you some other widgets that I have on my home screen just so you guys can get a better idea as far as how widgets work. This is a music widget. So you have a music player on your phone that you can open up. You know, I can open this guy up by scrolling over to music and tapping it right here and it opens up my music player. But instead, I don't have to go through that step because all I got to do is swipe over to my home screen that has my uh, music widget and I can play this song right now by pressing play. I can pause it. I can skip to the next song and uh, so on and so forth. So pretty cool functionality to have, makes it a lot more convenient. Some other widgets, um, you know, example is YouTube. I could look through my subscriptions by flicking through videos. If I find one appealing, I could tap on it and watch it. If I wanted to make a note for myself, I could make like a little post-it uh, with this, with Color Note app, which is a, you know, a widget that can remind me of what I want. Of course, I could resize widgets with Ice Cream Sandwich, so I can make it, you know, small or big. I could stack two right next to each other. Um, I also have a widget for my bookmarks. So let's say for example, I wanted to go straight to a, my favorite website, you know, let's say phonebuff.com right here. I don't have to actually open up my web browser and type in phonebuff or go through my bookmarks here. I can just tap on my home screen and it'll go straight to the website I want. Another example is a dictionary widget. Let's say I'm trying to look up the word dog or the definition of it. I could do it right from my home screen and it'll load uh, the dictionary app right away with the word I search instead of me having to go through you know, my home screen or through my app list and typing dictionary and going through here and then typing dog and then hitting uh, enter. So definitely a lot faster, um, but that's pretty much you know, what widgets are. Hopefully that gives you a better idea as far as how widgets work and you know, the differences between them, such as the ones that are attached to applications like the ESPN Score Center one, the ones that are completely standalone, which are like the power controls and um, you know the music app, which if I wanted to go to my music player app, I could just tap it and get the full app too. So widgets, you know, could really offer you a lot on your home screen and make things a lot easier and more convenient. Um, that's pretty much it for me in this video. If you found it helpful, hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to visit phonebuff.com for more cell phone news, reviews, and how-tos. Thank you.